Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Shenmue 1 and 2 running on Intel HD 620 graphics. This is on a Core i5-7200U in a HP laptop, and we're running at the default settings the game selected when I installed it, which is 1366 by uh, 768, and there's not a huge amount of detail settings. Uh, this is a port of... It seems to be somewhere between sort of the Dreamcast and Xbox versions. Um, it has a lot of the improvements that the Xbox version had, um, but is basically a, a sort of bespoke port for the PC and modern consoles. And we're testing in Shenmue 2 because it's the more demanding title. And really things work pretty well throughout. Um, we do see some occasional frame rate glitches. Uh, Shenmue and Shenmue 2 are always locked to 30 frames per second. Um, so the game locks to that, as we can see from the frame rate counter, and it's pretty consistent. Um, we do see it sometimes showing 29 just because of the refresh rate we're using. But it's a pretty good playable experience, certainly through these early portions of the game that I've played. Um, it does, through cutscenes, the game window boxes, as we see, um, but that's that's absolutely normal, not actually because of this graphics card. We'll be doing it on a NVIDIA or AMD card as well. So obviously the games aren't the most graphically advanced coming from sort of previous generation, well a couple previous generations of hardware, um, but it does run well and is certainly playable. So if you have a Intel HD620 equipped laptop and want to give the Shenmue games a go, it's certainly worth it. Um, they're, they're interesting titles, they're obviously very much of their age in some regards, but they are good fun as well if you can sort of get rid of the sort of turn of the century uh, differences to how modern titles work. So, um, let me know what you would like to see tested in the future. And hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.